this evening. Uh, uh, wait, 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 before you vent. Yes. Uh, let me allow one talk. Um, Asha Ju, let me allow her to talk. Oh, bless you. I will not come to your vent. Okay. That's very massive of you, aristocrat. Oh, sugar. Who put sugar? Is that a call? Anyway, let me just say something before engine room comes up because I want to some time. Um all comments, I believe those who are close to Prime Boy are taking notes and I believe they are going to act on it. From what King Chuck said, I believe they are going to act on him. Uh talking about coming out to talk, etc. etc. I believe they're going to act on it. But, you know, things always have procedure. If something happens to you, you first don't rush to the public. It's an ongoing case. We understand that he has been receiving treatment before now. Nobody was told. But the legal people know about it. And the police also know about it. Now, it was a threat. Now, something has been done. And I believe um, all through today, They've reported to the police, um, the, his lawyers are working, and I believe they are going to come out uh, in good time to possibly communicate with the public on their own. Um, saying that Prime Boy coming out to talk, you know, Prime Boy has been coming out to talk since he left um, detention. He's been talking on his platform, he's been saying what he wants to say, but um, the last meeting at the inquest, actually made him to be very um, audacious. He was quite audacious. He came out and said things he wanted to say. And that was profound. And I think key thing is himself should have been expecting um, reprisal from those who were threatening him. And I believe, you know, it has happened. We are looking forward to actions that will be taken that he will come to the public and talk or his lawyer talk, I believe that will be um, their decision to make, that we will inform the public about what is happening um, in good time. I believe that is part of our responsibility, and that is what we are doing. And for people to chip in um, views and, and express themselves regarding the issue, I think that is how the matter will continuously be in the forefront for us to talk about. It is still justice for Mubad. There are a lot of things that will happen within justice for Mubad. It is not new that in a crime matter like this, that there will be reprisal. It is not the first, it will not be the last. Even in the advanced nations, in developed nations, so to say, it does happen. People have cases in court. People want to come and testify. They are put under police protection. Some bad people are after them. I, I believe this is what happened. But the key thing for us to acknowledge here is justice for Mubad is a serious matter. If anyone says that his death do not have any form of underground activities to it. I think things happening are a good pointer for all of us to know that things are happening. So it's just for us to learn from it, for us to learn our voice, hear a voice with regards to what is happening, for us to be abreast with the law, for all to understand that we are all seeking justice and justice we will get. And for everybody to know that it is our duty to seek for justice. And it is most important that courage is not the absence of fear, but it is the triumph over fear. 
So this is one of those fears that shows it ugly head um, where you are seeking justice. And I believe late Nelson Mandela understood that and that was why he made that statement that courage is not the absence of fear, but it is the triumph over it. So I, I believe we're going to get there. I believe as we continue to put this matter in front burner and we talk about it, it will be good. I've gotten a number of um, reports that that event happened to Prime Boy around 7 p.m. But around 8 p.m., um, Mubaz Widow posted something on her Instagram. A number of people are sharing that with me. She posted, posted something on her Instagram, and it's just a simple statement of question, which read, I hope you all are learning life. Question mark. Um, so that was what she posted after that happened. I think she posted it around the next hour after it happened. But it's left for us to deduce things are happening, but we pray that God will continue to protect. Even though Prime Boy is still a suspect in this case, according to the police, he's, he has come out to talk about his own account of the event. We also remember that through his lawyers, they've written petition, one against the widow and one against the IPU, ASP Mohammed. So things are going up, things are happening. We hope that the authority concerned will get more involved. And Jerome, are you ready to talk? If Jerome is not ready to talk, Susie, for justice, you have the floor. Angel Room, are you ready to talk? Susie, go ahead, please. Okay. Uh, good evening, everybody. There's nothing good about the evening anyway, you know. And uh, it is just for the court I had to greet everybody. Now, today I am going to bend. And first of all, I'm going to begin to, you see, you see this woman, this is your last statement, you know, this last uh, post of woman that you just made. It aggravates me more and it's going to make me go harder on the Nigerian, uh, the Lagos State Police, you know, some, some, some set, some group of Nigerian police, you know, at this point, I am going to conclude that they compiled, they compiled, they, they agree, you know, and, you know, group with this set of, set of murderers to kill Mubad because their action now beginning to please, show... Let's stop, please, let's stop, let's stop, let's stop, let's stop, let's stop, let's stop. You know, yeah, their action now beginning to show us they are the part of people who killed Mubad because who are this set of people? Who are this set of people? My questions, who are this set of people that is powerful than the system, than the law in the whole of Nigeria? Nigeria that is the biggest uh, country in Africa, the giant of Africa, set of thugs, set of mafia, set of drug dealers, who are these people that is their power is more than the whole country, the whole country in Nigeria, the giant of Africa. That's to tell you guys, the whole public, that's to tell you guys, I didn't put water in my mouth and I'm going to say it again. Some set of, some group, some group, the, the regime, the present regime of police forces in Nigeria. They compiled, they cooperate with the killer of Mobad. And at this point, with the Lagos state government, they compiled and they group.
together with this idiot to kill Mubad. So the police is not going to be let out of it. At this point, at this point, this present regime of Nigerian police, they know what killed Mubad and they have hand in Mubad's death. I leave it at that. For now, I am going to begin to swear from Wumi, 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 down to the whoever, okay, that has hand is Mubaz dead. Whoever that is standing on the way of justice for us to not find what killed Mubad. May God Almighty, Wumi, from you, whatever you cherish, if it's your son, if it's yourself, if it's your sugar daddy, whatever you cherish, whatever that you are group in your coved room to do to Mubad, may it begin to happen to you people's daughter and you people's son. May they kill you people's daughter and you people's son in such a way they killed Mubad. May they begin to humiliate you people's daughter and you people's son the way they humiliate Mubad. May they begin to punish them the way they did to Mubad. Whatever they have done to Mubad, may they begin to do it to each and one of you's children, your daughter, your son, whatever you people cherish. Let it begin to happen to you people. I said it again. You see, karma is a bitch. Sometimes it takes time to happen. But sometimes these days, it happened quick. You see, I'm beginning to pray for you guys again, okay? May God beginning to catapult you people's private jets. May the weather beginning to turn in our favor so that you people's plane beginning to drop from air. May the weather change in our favor so that you people's plane will begin to drop from air in such a way that you guys will drop and die, they will not find the pieces of any of you. This is going to be our best prayer for them. When you are driving on the road, may the road divide into two and your car should drive into the dish. These people are set of murderers. How can they allow this girl be doing what she's doing? Now, I'm going to say one more thing again, because I'm just too much. In fact, I am just don't want to feel like talking anymore. Now, something, Nigerian government, what are you guys doing? Who is this powerful person? Can we accuse the president? Can we begin to accuse the IG of police that he's pretending? that he don't know what is happening in the country, that he's pretending, that he don't know what is happening in the police department in Nigeria. This is our all set of group of murderer regime. They are all set of group of murderers regime. This is what we have and this is what we are dealing with now. This set of people have turned our country into a third world country. People, how do we get out of this? What do we do to get out of this? This is not gonna get better anytime soon. Now, I'm gonna to go to the religious group of Nigeria. I'm gonna ask them question. The Iman, the pastors, the bishop, where are you now? I know when Moba died, some of you come out and say, oh, he's, uh, he's drug addict, da, 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 da. Now, my question to the Nigerian religious group and the imams, the bishops of Nigeria now, the result is out and we didn't accept the result. Now, this boy that is one of your own, the result is out. He's, he didn't abuse drugs like some of you were saying in your church 
that is one of those musician things. There is no abuse of drugs in his blood. So is it not time for you people to get up? Pastor Paul at the Pharisee, is it not time for you guys to get up? Pastor Enenche, is it not time for you people to get up? But, uh, Reverend Father Mbaka, is it not time for you to get up? Oh, yeah, Dikbo, is it not time for you people to get up? The name continue. Is it not time for you people to get up? What are you people preaching? Is it what you guys preach for somebody to be killed like this? Are you people sit down and watch us fighting this fight without any of you intervene? The worry pastor or the bini pastor that came to give Mama Mubad and will meet 10 million to use it to fight against us now that the truth is out. Will you ask for your 10 million back? Or will you come out and support the youth and help us to find what killed Mubad? Or are you people going to watch for them to kill another one? The way they are trying, beginning to threat Mobat and this bastard of a girl that don't know her father, that don't even have a father, have the nerve to come out and put out a tweet and put out a write-up. And Nigerian government is sitting down watching who is Wumi and who is strongly behind Wumi. Prime will come out and say the truth. So that tell us clearly that this girl connived with you guys, the Nigerian police, to kill this boy. And that's telling us that that child that I said, the child is not even for Wumi herself. Whoever is the king that claimed that has the child, they all bought child because they are all both desperate human being. But I bet you guys, the truth will be out. Desperate king that is desperate to have a son. A desperate girl that is desperate to take somebody's empire. Two desperate human beings connive to kill this boy, and Nigerian police regime, the present regime of Nigerian police, not all Nigerian police, but the present regime of Nigerian police and Lagos state government, they connive and they kill this boy and they feel that the world will not say anything. It's a shame to governor of Lagos state. Whatever that has happened to Mobad today, I bet you, Lagos State Governor, is going to happen to your children in hundred folds. Wumi, you have a son that is dear to you. The life of that boy is not precious than the life of Mobad. And I bet you, as a mother who carry a child, for my stomach for nine months, I bet you the child that you think you are protecting as a mother, I place a curse on you and your child today that whatever you have gathered with the enemy of Mobad to kill him, to debate him in his home, it will happen to your son in hundred folds. This is one thing that you people don't want to hear. But this is the truth. No child is better than anybody's child. Whether rich or poor, no. My child is not better than anybody's child. Tunubu's son is not better than my son. President Biden's son is not better than my son. That is the way we should look at it. I know when they talk about Leon, you people say he's a little angel. There's a saying that said, the sins of our parents will fall upon us. So let the sin of Wumi and the so-called call father of that boy beginning to fall upon him.
Nigerian police before I rest my case and religious readers of Nigeria. Please, this is the time. The 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 white the white government churches that you uh, Babamba attend. You see this man going to court every day with your uniform. This is your own. I believe you people are large. Your congregation is large in the whole world. Baba Mobile is your own. Why silent? What is going on? All the religious leaders in Nigeria, what are you preaching? So a seed. What are you preaching? This is your own. Why are you people being silent? Why is everybody being silent? Peter Obi, I'm going to put this out to you. Over the weekend, you went all the way to Enugu State to go and visit the family of Junior Pope. Peter Obi, your silent is golden. This is not at all about politics anymore. You don't be silent and come back in three years for us to get behind you and put you in that seat. When at this point, we are crying. None of you, none of the activists in Nigeria wants to come out. What is going on? A life of a, 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 life of a child of poor man doesn't matter anymore in the country called Nigeria. Is that what we are seeing? A shining star has taken away from us and everybody kept quiet? No, it's not good. It's not a good thing. It's not good. It's not good. And now they have switched over to beginning to terrorize Prime, prime Boy. And we have the governor of Lagos State, Samoru, sitting down there being the governor, watching this thing happening. The epic for me is just this last uh, tweet or whatever we may put out that the host just read. It, it disorganized my system. It, it, it made me, you know, confuse all the words that I have to put out there. I cannot coordinate it anymore. So are we going to live in a country that people that are supposed to guide us, the police that are supposed to guide us, who connive with the set, some set of killers, some set of higher killers, higher assassins in our society, some set of murderers in our society, some set of courtism, some set of mafia. Is it what we stand for? And this thing is happening in Lagos State. And Samolu sit down there and he feel it's okay. Samolu, I bet you, you are a father. You watch this thing happening to other people's children. May it happen to your children in Jesus' name. All of you that has hand in present thing that is going on right now, and you are trying to kill this case, use your office to kill this case. Your children will not know peace. I raise my case. Thank you. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Susie for justice. Always on fire as ever. So, Andrew, take it up. Good afternoon, everyone. I salute the panelists, the chief host, aristocrats, and the commenters. Hope you're all doing great. Um, the only advice I want to tell Prime Boy is to be guarded. Always watch your back. Even amongst your friend, your friend amongst the police, the uniform friends you have, be careful. Do not trust anyone. And wherever you go, please be careful. 
always be guarded. Watch your back, your front, your side, everywhere. Watch where you eat, watch your food. If possible, cook your food by yourself. Do not trust nobody right now. And if it's possible for you, get a conference call, I mean, meeting organized by your lawyers, put it across to the world, your life has been threatened. Let everyone know who are those threatening you. Let the world know where you are now, your present situation. In case anything happens to you, everyone or whosoever that is involved in threatening you would be identified and the law, you know, holds them up. Whosoever, we don't care who is involved right now. Law or judgment has no respect for anybody. Whosoever that is involved should be taken up lawfully. That's my candid advice to Prime Boy. And for the justice um, killers, we say well done to you. No matter how far you go, no matter who you hire your personality, no matter the amount of money you spend, believe me you, I am happy for you to continue to spend because I believe your money is not a, a, a river of water. One day, it will definitely dry up. And when it dries up, you'll be expecting where you want to stretch your, your hands. You might run today, but believe me, you can't run forever. Bringing friendship into justice, delaying justice because you are paddy paddy, it will not help the situation. Just like I said earlier, I called on um, Governor Sonwolu. You might be governor today. Remember, your days are counting. When you were soliciting for votes the other time, you were, you were roasting, grilling poorly. You became the husher, persuading and begging people to vote for you. Now you are in power. You forget it all. Remember, this post you had today is not your father's post. It's not your generation or your, your ancestral post. It's just a numbered post. Your days are counting. It is not your own company. Where you are right now, it's not your own company, let alone you being the CEO or chairman or manager. You are just an overseer for a short period of time. And when that time elapses, believe me, you, you have to leave. And when you leave, where do you think you are retiring to? You will be in the hands of the public. Remember, you have your own children. And just like I said yesterday, I said, go and meet, meet your spiritual fathers or mothers or whosoever that works for you spiritually. Investigate your present position right now, your present condition, and what is before you. Let them tell to you, to your face, what is awaiting you. You will cry. Believe me, you, you will cry. But it's never too late for you to make amendment. This Mobas case will be an avenue for you to reconcile with God. Make amendments. Let your conscience judge you. Everything you have done. Openly and secretly, let your conscience judge you. If you are bringing it, friendship, relationship into this justice, believe me, you. You are harming yourself the more. Not only you. Remember, you're going to have your generations. You have children that are getting engaged, married. Do you know what will befall them? You are praying to see your own grandchildren, right? Do you know what will befall them? Giving justice, you just hold it as if it is your life. Remember what happened during the answers. The same lie. And yet, you were requesting for funds to bury how many hundreds of people? Governor Sawolu, it is not late for you to make amendment, okay? I will only call on you because you are the one in charge. 
the police have informed us earlier that they are no more in charge of this case. It's with the government. You are just playing balls, kicking us left, right, and center. The police will say, yeah, the, 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 this case is with the government. The government will say, no, they are with the police, whatever. But how will call on you? Because the situation right now that we find ourselves has showed clearly that you are the one suppressing this justice. Samuelu, do the right thing. Women are calling on you right now. Awalabinyo, we can do and undo. Be afraid of us. Be greatly afraid of us, okay? Our lack of jelly in Lorio. Tabani Gilles, shoot for your mash, shoot for you, Tabani Colmo for your mamma for you. You wake up and be scared of women, okay? Whatever thing you have done secretly with your allies, we don't care. But give us this justice before it's too late, okay? Give us this justice. We want peace in Lagos State and every other state in Nigeria. We want peace in the whole country. Someone who don't cause katakata. Don't let it start from you. You know you have already done one. Don't let it be a continuity. You are going to be you have you you you're gonna have record in Nigeria. Remember, what you record the call, record the late about to fair break. Let it be positive one. Someone who a word is enough for a wise. That is a wise that is ready to listen. Do the needful and don't let your name be cursed. Do the needful. This is my submission. Thank you, everyone. Language at all, but I will try to make a valid point. 
These issues of Mubad has opened my own eye personally as a person to see the entire Nigerian as a different body. Now, and I know that when Nigerians say good morning, they meant good night. So I'm only going to question everybody here to please ask yourself what lesson have you learned in this journey so far? So um, in a nutshell, the bottom line is never trust anybody. If all these wonderful gentlemen and ladies that are doing the justice for mobile from September last year suddenly become each other's enemy for no reason, that means initially to start with, Bumi has got few people in between the calculus, unknown to them, as far as I am concerned. Uh, possibly, um, there are a lot of people with ulterior motives at the beginning. And you know what? The same thing they did in end end says that they pushing some shenanigans and they turn the quiet, peaceful demonstration into chaos and they had to call it a day. Then I'm wondering in my brain for the past three weeks now, is there any possibility of seeing a better tomorrow? I don't think so. I'm sorry to say the fact. But now I'm going to focus more on Prime Boy, which is my new motive of jump, jumping up. I personally do not like, right from the beginning, the way um, Prime Boy comes up to discuss. I never told, I personally was not interested and I'm against it. Because I see him as a golden witness weapon to be used. And therefore, when you're going to war, you don't ex exhaust your weapon or your bullet quickly. You reserve it, you save it. And the reason why few people step back was because of that, that people start to come on platform talking about what they want to do, what they are planning and all that. It could be very irritating and annoying for people who understand better the way the games could be played. But unfortunately, we see things differently. You see some people at the comment section, shut up, mute, why are you to tell us what to talk? Speak. And unfortunately, they didn't realize these are the people that were used. Some people come on the platform, they'll be snoring. It's sad attraction. Or you call them, they won't answer. If they just planted there, it's sad attraction. As far as I'm concerned, now, I think Prime Boy needs to stop talking. If he needs to pass any message to anybody, he should speak to either through press, newspaper, which is the media, or speak out through his lawyer. Or hold a conference. I repeat, he need to hold a massive conference where he will be where he'll be interviewed and he need to mention clearly the people who had been phoning him, the kind of messages they've been passing on his phone, what have they been telling him, what threats or language they have been used, and he need to mention name at this junction and record it. And recording and part of this um, interview need to be sent to the police. Don't hide or protect nobody. If you if you care, as a king, you phrase it and say, I suspect. There is nothing wrong if you suspect anybody. Mesh, I suspect, based on what is happening, I suspect A, B, Z, Z, D, Y, Y. Mention their names. If somebody can come out and bully be saying he's working for Anoba and yet he's said to be arresting people. Who does that? At this junction, I want to ask my, my lovely fathers who are the elder statesmen of Nigeria this question now. We are the subject that you, that these mummies are governing. So what if your subject then becomes suddenly and a subject of attack by you who are supposed to look after? Is that not a shame? Now I'm drawing close now, close now to my 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 governor, Babawa. As far as I'm concerned, the record confirmed to me that you're a good Christian and even a born again to start with. And a mountain of fair miracle ministry star, um, a church member, and all of a sudden become a redeemer. It doesn't matter you're a governor, so you can belong to any any set of um, a religion so far so good. But yet, what does the religion preaches, sir? Nobody is accusing nobody now. I think as a governor of a state, you need to stand up tall to what you are called to office to do, sir. I beg to say this. If issues of homicide, things to do with suspect like this, is between the governors and the accusers. Ijoba no lejo, case ijoba ni, go case individual. And I heard 
that they said they want to arrest Baba Moba. Is that a joke? It will be an April Fool, as far as I'm concerned. It's, it's, a, it's a joke. It's a... I, I, maybe I'm sleeping. I'm still here to wake up from my slumber. I pray and I hope they never do that. Please, please, if it is true, kindly stop it. Don't go that far. It's quite unfortunate that in Nigeria, so to say, you see criminals, right? And you subject criminal to, 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 to complete freedom and you arrest somebody who has come to report an alleged. If they can kill Bolaige up to today, to tomorrow come, there has never been any person pinpoint or punished for that offense. And I believe this is 2024. All you my fathers, starting from the top, that day, Baba Wabola Hamed Tinubu, my dear mother Remy Tinubu, we voted for you for peace to reign. I don't think it will cost you nothing. If you call, even if it's possible, to buy a if you call Baba Moba to the table, call every one of them to the table and let this be discussed on a closed door. If that will solve the situation. Instead of sending fire out like a viral, do you know when you have list of a death, you're going to target another person to, to cover this one. And you're going to be ready to keep billions. For that not to happen, why don't we stop this issue now? I don't know the reason why Arifa, Veron, and Wesu are arrested to start with. And any law did not say nobody cannot be on bail. She won't buy any. Have they killed anybody? Tori, take your back, buy any. When you come and release a loss, it goes straight away. This is this is a case of allegation. Is an alleged one. Alleged job in your con. Won't paro mo any. Won't pay. Lola buy. Put it that way. Or won't won't go on in your room. But she must shop. If I say to one son, cut any your shit. Go share some pay. She won't not pay mo bad in it. Me, I don't understand. If there's anything behind this issue, then table it to the conference and let the entire world globally get to understand the picture. Then we'll start it to go. And we'll know, okay, at the get in Koton, she told by Jack Boya to see in Koton and saw you, and me will release the film at Kwa Omo, you see police station, they will need. Me, one more reason, then you'll come out, Bonu Boya, to my soccer, I want to set that in my arrest, I want you, Funkini, you got it. She, I want you to walk by If the police are so good and they can do that job, why haven't they then arrest people who are guilty of the buy of this gentleman that the entire youth are asking for justice for? To be a bad brand that one police was a good to. And you, Baba, you want to tell me, see, let him buy And you tell me, see, let him buy I'm begging every elder state man and women so far so good. Please, so peda, this is getting out of hand. It's becoming so interesting. I've never seen an interesting story as bad as this in my life. We are setting bad ex example to the upcoming youth. Everybody is getting terrified. You are legalizing poverty. You are legalizing poverty. Jesus. Jesus. Are you mute, please? What are you mute, please? Thank you, Benson. You are legalizing poverty, boxing these elderly people to bo to corner so that they won't be able to talk because there is no food for them to eat. A share burukulenga, and for where kura jeni, a John Tori alone. It's very unfair, and I'm coming back to my dear father. Kabiesi oba kadio kweluri baba wa kabiesi legusi kadio kweluri kibata ukwele se kasho kwele nukoni kesi. A job, a man look when he be in. He don't think we think about job. I ran alone, job alone. Daddy, yes, she be in. Your money go go and one more way just in. Go go talk with me. Your job alone in. Everybody cannot be equal. A man just can't win. Oh, she alone. 
ni tori o ni ko ni tori ola oba to ba je ti ilu ba toro oruko re o le pare e to ba si je ti ilu oturo na oruko re o ni pare e wa ran ti pe gbogbo apata pata la bi mo saye bi eyan ba lo nde di eso ba ku itan to ba fi sile lawon mo 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 mama pe ni aroba aroba si ni baba itan the story will not change and the history will never fail everybody a joy stop peda on this issue of arresting the youth here and there for what? She a won ni won pa mo ba di ni ta lo pa yon ni na won mo te en gbe yi e so ka gbo bo ya won pa yon ta wo mo ni and to all people that are contesting for me if it's to be sure of me pe mo pe samlari ati naramali why don't you start mentioning their names why are you looking for people to mention their names on your behalf what is the problem if you are bold enough and you're sure of what you're saying, mention their names now, start accusing them, so call, start calling them out every day. Instead of attacking people that they are not calling their names out, is there any problem with that? In my own opinion, by now, to see what we're talking about the future of Nigeria. Ipe Nigeria lati wa ilu wa deni we cannot shy away from it. Now I'm talking to my sister, mummy. I want Agbani to ba to ba ku to ba wa ju ku abi kini konko ta to ba ku oni konko te ra re pa. In the journey of life, you are just starting. Kamu ma fifty fifty years. Okpo ju, you'll be left alone. Nobody will be there for you. I'm sure. Ku se ni no, you have a a time to sit back and think of your past. For the sake of tomorrow, there's anything you can do to stop your people. I think you better do now. Not for today, but for the sake of the moment, which is called the future that is yet to come. And when you tell my loony book, we got a bat if any, I die in your re. Me, but it's a pity. I want you to do one for people are listening. Why to Jack Bay and Cotton Masson see me one is saying, Bumo, go where ya you banny con, Luma, your ye, new contombatin, she could sing con me to one bay, come on, need before combine, nearly by your malaki, you jay. Here, my fork by a latch, destroy on where on when you beat it, see, can you get my don't confidently without no thought, pick your fresh shelly. Only massing a cotton my shelly. She go along with you, suki, to obey, to re a lotion, pay a long way so. It might not be now, it might not be tomorrow, it might be years back. Tell you about it, why don't you go to the show? And why are you talking about the people who are going to die one day? Everybody will die one day. Tell you about the people who are going to die one day. Who else is not going to go? Who are you going to die? The reason for this, when I start to, to sketch it, like my sketching, and I put at the top of it everything come back to money and the position. What? Along load them out for laughing, along load to my own fee on sick, and the cool if you're sick, who go to ten you, Lori, while I load your long roofing, say Joe, and Lori, what just going da da. Kabisi olola julo alashe ke jurisha olori ejo ejo e ma je ka won eyan oloruko yin rongli eni yin so pe yin lo won sise fun e pe lakan ki ma gbonrin o eyan o le se pe fun iku mo mi o da mi loju bi ada tori mi wo ipe nkan ti mo de so ko ya ko ya no jo si nkan ti o wo olorun pe ka se e je ka ye farawa ya bi eran mo Yoruba ero nu e jo. Ademu kogwe a danu, a daku, a daru. Lato ne lato mi. I don't think Prime Bush should come out and hold any meeting or interview with nobody on any of the bloggers platform. If you need to speak, which is allowed to, take a conference call, mo ma owe sokini, on a proper channel, either to a radio station, a television station, a broadcast media like newspapers, Van Guild, and uh, name the new papers in Nigeria, speak out, or call your lawyer by your side to guide you and take a conference interview. Be guided. One ibukuni for more than no, to the two of your boshi, 
Oju ni ti wa o. Ni gba tawon to je family fun ara won, ai ya mu ba da ti kare mu. Mo fi awon yen sile, ton ba le ri na be yen. How much mommy and you? Governor Baba Gideson, please. I voted for your campaign for you and I'm regretting it.